In this episode of Teens Wanna Know, we do a one-on-one -on -one with Cameron Pilatus, star of the new movie Past the Light, a faith-based film with a strong message of tolerance. We also join Lisa Marie Woods on the red carpet of the film's premiere in Hollywood. Hey guys, we're here with Cameron Pilatus, which you guys might recognize from Zack Stone's Gonna Be Famous with Bo Burnham, as well as the upcoming film, Pass the Light. So tell us about Pass the Light. Okay, so uh, Pass the Light is a film basically uh, about this kid, Steve Bellafiore, played by myself. Um, and this kid sees trouble in his community, he sees problems um, within his own family um, and his friends, and he decides to get this group together called The Force and try and help out the entire community. So what's the biggest challenge you faced while shooting the movie? So we were towards the end of filming, and Victor, our producer and writer, comes up to me like one of these days, I think it was like a Thursday. Mm -hmm. And the next day we were supposed to film the whole debate in the movie, which was like, it was like two to three pages of dialogue. Oh, wow. And Victor's like, yo, Cam, like, let me talk to you for a second. And I was like, all right, cool. So he's like, so we rewrote like all your dialogue. <laughs> so he hands me like three pages for the next wow. day. So uh, I ended up getting it down. Um, I just ran the lines a lot and, and got it down. So what was the most satisfying part working in the film? Uh, the most satisfying part for me was getting to deliver such a good message. Yeah. Yeah. Because the whole film is about community, it's about coming together, and it's about finding your voice. Like no matter who you are, you have a voice. Mm -hmm. You just have to use it. So the movie's coming out February 6th. Mm -hmm. Where can people watch it? Uh, people can watch the movie at select Carmack Cinemas across the nation. And they can also get tickets at movietickets.com and fandango.com. And I heard a rumor that pre-sale tickets are selling out, so you better get those soon. Get them quick. So some of your fans might not even know that you're also a rapper. How'd you get into rapping? When I was younger, I would always write. Mm. Um, I would write poetry. Uh, it was like my favorite thing to do in school. In English class, I would have these like assignments where I would have to write poems. And I would always give them to my teacher and be like, yeah, like, <laughs> you know, I was like so proud yeah. of them. Uh, and then one day, I just put it to a beat and I started like rapping over it. And I was like, yo, this might be something I could do. Yeah. I think artists, it doesn't matter if you're making like $5 million or you're making like $20, just do what makes you happy. Now on that note, if you could pick any three artists to collaborate with. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Kanye West, yes. easily. J. Cole, easily. Yes. Third one. Pff, Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys. Yeah. So what's something your fans would be surprised to know about you? Mm -hmm. Something my fans would be surprised to know about me. I have a huge shoe collection. A huge shoe collection. I don't know if they would be surprised to know that about me, but I have a huge shoe collection. Yeah, yeah. What's your what's like your favorite pair of shoes you have? Um, Kanye West Louis Vuittons. Yeah. Yeah. You have the Kanye Louis. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I'm I'm very satisfied with the Yeezys yeah, I have those on are right sick. now. sick. Those are tight, but Kanye West Louis would be mm -hmm. would be sick. We can trade. Just shout outs to Grandma. Let me know. If you, want, if you want to hook up your favorite grandson, no, socks for Christmas. Year, give me socks sad. and Kanye Louis. Like. And now let's go to Lisa Marie Woods in the red carpet for Pass the Lights premiere in Hollywood. Thanks, Michael. We're at the Arc Light for the premiere, and let's go see who we can talk to. Well, do you have any funny stories about things that happened on set? Things that happened on set. Ali DeBerry always called me Pizza Boy. Yeah, because we, we had worked together on Ant Farm. Um, before this movie, and I rubbed a pizza on my face in Ant Farm. So like when I got to set, she was like, pizza boy, and I was like, really? Like, come on, you know? What do you think that teens can do to pass the light in their own communities? Well, like The Force did, they wrote like little positive messages and put it into each other's lockers, or even just like the smallest compliment at school. Like, um, I went to high school for a couple years, and I know those are some tough years, you know? So just being kind to everyone, a simple smile, a simple compliment, just make the world of difference. Well, this whole film is about passing the light. What does passing the light mean to you? Just 
passing care and love, really. That's my thing, is care and love for people and helping people out. It's showing love for other people and having compassion for other people, you know, and just like letting people be who they are. So I think it's rad. <laughs> what was the most rewarding part about working on this film? For me, it was uh, becoming so close with the cast and crew. And it was like one big happy family, and that's the in the in this in the story, everyone gets together, becomes a big group of friends to make this beautiful message. And it was amazing to see how fast, as actors and even just the crew, everyone just came together as a big happy family, and it was a wonderful experience. This whole film is about passing the light. What do you think teens can do in their own community to help pass the light? Uh, for me, I uh, started an animal charity in 2009 uh, called Kids Against Animal Cruelty. Um, so just take something that hits home with you, something you believe in, and uh, try to spread the word, and hopefully it'll, it'll put a message out there that people will follow. The most rewarding part was working on a film that I think is pushing boundaries in a beautiful way. Um, the most rewarding part is knowing that people will see this film and leave a little bit more open-minded. and. Um, um, I'm, I very much stand in my own personal life for trying to understand people that aren't like you and trying to understand things you don't understand. And so for to be a part of this film is just rewarding in general because I feel like we're giving people a new perspective on just open-mindedness and um, inclusion. I honestly think that the Pass the Light movement could be happening in our high schools right now in America. It's very relatable. There's so many things that teenagers can go out and do. And so I want them to see this film, be encouraged. I know Carmike is giving a free Coca-Cola if you show like your student ID. So if, if all of the benefits aren't enough, you're going to come see a movie and have a free coat. So, I mean, can't really hurt there. I think everybody can pass the light just in their daily life, even if you just smile at someone, you know, whether they need it or not. And the more that we as a community and a society can offer compassion and grace, the better off we're all going to be. You know, uh, they can be nice to each other, you know, compliment each other. You have a nice dress. I like your eyes. I like your hair. You know, I like your headphones. You know, it's being good to one another, you know, and encouraging and being positive, and that's how you can pass the light to each other. You can start, that's a good place to start. Anything that's wrong in their community and they want to fix that, that's what they should do. Go fix it. Go fix it. Just because you're one person don't mean you can't fix it. Start by yourself. People see what you're doing. They might, oh, hey, let me join in. And then hopefully it'll crescendo on some big. We made a movie about universal love and acceptance and awesomeness, and I'm looking for people to come in and enjoy it under one roof and celebrate the moment, celebrate the cast, celebrate the crew, and just I'm, I'm really uh, just excited for this whole, whole whole thing to take off. There's so many things that you can do. Something as simple as giving someone a smile or inviting them to have lunch with you. Um, just being kind, you know, treat people how you'd like to be treated. That's the most important thing. This movie, unlike a lot of others, just really drives home that love overcomes all obstacles and. And it's, it's, you can tell that everyone really believed the message in the performances, and it's really powerful in that way. So I can't wait to, to see people leaving and f feeling so uplifted, because I know that's what's going to happen. I feel like, especially in high schools and stuff, um, where people are, you know, bullied and everything, I feel like just simple things, like, I saw this thing on Twitter where people would write on the mirrors, like, little, like, notes that are super, yeah, like, affirmation notes. I think that that's super cool. Just, like, nice acts of kindness. You know, nice compliments. Like, you look very pretty today. What you do? Thank you. I was going to say, I love your eyeshadow. That's such a pretty color. Yeah. Now, why do you think teens in particular should see this film? It's, it's well, one, the setting. It takes place in high school, um, and it's... It relates to every single high schooler. Um, everybody goes through the stuff that Steve goes through. Um, it's very relatable. Um, and the positive message can resonate with all teenagers. Well, high school can be difficult for, for teenagers, teenage girls and boys. So I think they should see the film just to give them something different, too. I mean, everything that's presented to them in, in Hollywood, you know, you don't often go see a family feel-good film that has a, a faith aspect to it. Um, so I think it, especially since he's going in politics and in Congress and things like that, I think... Um, being able to see that you can represent your faith on, in any platform and not be uh, shy about it, and it's okay to, to, to believe in something, uh, I think that's why they should go see it. All right, now it's time for a time machine question. Okay. Da, da, da. <laughs> if you could go back in time. That and was the fairy boy. That wasn't me. Oh, dang, and I missed uh, it? Yeah, good witch Glenda. Every and time. If you could go back in time and give your teen self one piece of advice, 
what would it be? Uh, and I'm Work really harder. Towards everything be more serious uh, about I'm what not, it is I want to do. Not, don't but, don't uh, I assume I'm, that just I'm because the, I have the, 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 the that, uh, benefit gets, of uh, youth, um, Frank, that it's going to come to me. Whatever I want, you have to work hard for it. you got to follow your dreams and really persist. And that's what I probably would have told myself. Because I would have been talking to you 30 years ago. <laughs> but, you know, that's the way it goes. What's up, guys? I'm Cameron Pilatus, and you're watching Teens Wanna Know. Teens Wanna Know. Teens Wanna Know. Teens Wanna Know. Hey, my name is John Grise. You have no idea who I am. And teens wanna know. I don't even know how to say it.